Welcome to another episode of Another Fat Guy Cooks. My name's Andy Baker and today we're going to be doing an Englishman's approximation of gumbo. Uh, a lot of this stolen from an episode of Binging with Babish, which I'll link to below. See how it goes. Another lost day Another lost year Another chopped onion To cover up the tears Another dream dead Another loss on the books Another fat guy Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make our roux. Now, we want to make a nice dark roux, which is going to give the gumbo loads of colour. Now, the problem with doing a dark roux is it takes fucking forever. Now, the episode I watched of Binging with Babish, there was a guy on there whose name I can't remember, who was a guest, who managed to do a dark roux in about 30 seconds, and I'm going to try that technique. But it could go terribly, and I could burn it, and it could be a complete fuck up. So we'll see. So the first thing we we'll do, um, I'm using corn oil here. You can use butter. You can use whatever you want. But corn oil should be good. I'm gonna throw about a cup of corn oil into our pan. Now, normally when you're making a roux, you add your fat, then you add your flour and you very, very slowly heat it up and incorporate it, and then it gets darker and darker as you go and doesn't burn. It takes a while, but that's the easy, quick way of doing it. We're gonna try and do it a slightly different way, where we superheat our oil before we even start, throw our flour in, and then whisk the fuck out of it, and it should go brown really, really quickly. So we're gonna give that a go. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna get a camera angle of that, but I suppose I can just move you around. But yeah, we'll try. Now, while that oil is heating up, we need to, Ugh. sorry, um, this is a bit of an impromptu video, so um, everything isn't as you know beautiful, clean, pristine, and sparkling as it normally is. So, three things for a gumbo, salt, peppers, celery, onion. So we need to get everything ready while our oil gets hot. <laughs> Cooking on a Monday night makes me so sad. <laughs> ah. Okay. So we're gonna get a whisk. We're gonna get our flour. We're gonna start adding our flour to our oil until we start getting the consistency of like wet sand, and then we are gonna keep whisking. And we are not going to burn it. There we go. So as you can see, this is already taking on quite a blonde colour. It usually takes about 10 minutes to get it this dark. So we're just going to keep this on here. And we're going to keep it going. Now one thing that you should do is get everything ready to go before you do this. And I have not done that, because I'm an idiot. So what I need is, I need to get my stock ready. So I need a good big thing of chicken stock, 
and a bottle of beer. And I could do the crushing up some garlic. So I'm gonna try and do that at the same time as this without fucking it up. I think this could do with a little bit more flour. That's more like it. The reason you make a roux, in case you didn't know, is basically to coat your flour in fat so that when your flour hits water or something that's not fat, it doesn't clump up. So the fat coats the flour, which also cooks the flour so it doesn't taste like shit, because dry flour tastes like shit. And it makes it so when you then you mix it in to make a gravy or you know something more liquidly like we're going to throw our beer in and some chicken stock it uh, all mixes in nice and easily and doesn't clump up and make big lumps this is going really well so far and we're trying to take this to about See how it's nice, like it's sort of starting to get like a nice caramel colour now. We're trying to aim for like medium to dark chocolate, but it will start turning quick when it turns. While that's going, we've got some chicken, chicken thighs, we're just going to season quickly. I'm going to try and get some colour on them in our cast iron skillet. Them out. And we're not looking to cook them really, we're just looking to brown them up. Get some nice dark spots, some nice crunchy bits. Our roux is starting to darken up a little bit, as you can probably see there. But we're looking to try and take it a bit further than that. Make sure to always check your ingredients. No. Okay. okay, one other thing we need to just quickly get ready. We just need some smoked sausage. Right, I think our roux is about there. Let me just show you. So it's nice and dark, nice and nice. So what we're going to do now is we're going to deglaze with a little bit of beer. Whew. Dang. Ah. Burn ourselves in the process. I know, fuck off. And then we're going to start adding our chicken stock a little bit at a time. So what we're going to do, it turns out that I've made way too much of this. I've made about twice as much of this as I actually want, because I'm an idiot. So, that is, turn that other pan off now. Just try that. Mm. Okay, so, in goes the veg. goes the sausage.
and goes our garlic. And then, in theory, you should have some nice, yeah, chicken thighs. We'll just do a nettle in here too. I think four is about the best we're going to do. One thing that you should always remember to do that I completely forgot about because I was in quite a lot of pain from the burns. It's how you should always cook. Is uh, to season this. So, we're going to do... Shut up. Two. Three. Big pinches of salt. Good chunk of cayenne pepper. Big whack of our uh, smoked paprika. Good amount of that. as much black pepper as you can be bothered to put into it, but it should be quite a lot. The uh, episode of Binging with Babbage that I stole this recipe from, the guy said to basically keep putting in black pepper until you have to change arm position. as that's going to get. Lid back on. And we're going to let this go for about two hours. Easy, he says, nursing his second degree burns. Oh man, there is fucking rue everywhere. All right, you beautiful, sexy bastards. Um, I have just waited nearly two hours. So the gumbo should be pretty much ready. Can you see the splatter from where my roux just fucking exploded and went everywhere? Look at that. Oh my God. See the chicken starting to fall apart. Exactly what we want. Everything looks nice and cooked and incorporated. Serve this fucker up. Get eating. Now normally you would serve this with rice, but um, I'm trying to cut down on my carbs and shit, so I'm just gonna have it on its own. Um, but let's see what it tastes like. But, but let's see what it tastes like. Make sure we get a nice good big bit of chicken. Just sausage. Ooh, I want that chicken skin. Okay. Yes, I could plate this up and try and make it look sexy and shit, but you know, who fucking cares, All right? So let's give this a go. Oh my god, it looks so fucking good. Mm. It's not perfect by any fucking means. I think I fucked my roux up slightly, but you've still got that really rich, buttery taste that comes through and that really dark, complex flavor. Mmm, but it's still fucking amazing.
Mm. The richness from the chicken, the smokiness from the sausage, then all your veg, all your aromatics. It's fucking amazing. All right, I'm gonna take this away and go and eat the shit out of it. Um, thank you for watching. If you're watching this, then you're one of my PayPal donors. Thank you very much. Um, I'm gonna start trying to do a bit more content just for you guys. But again, you know, I don't need shit loads of money, quid here, fiver here, whatever. It's absolutely amazing. Um, just anything that I can keep, you know, upgrading my kitchen, buying better ingredients, just trying to make the content better. Anything you guys give goes straight back into the uh, straight back into the channel. So I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, another fat guy's just cooked. I'll see you guys later. Take care.